good morning all uh, today in this video we are going to see how to create a sales order in Odoo so to create a new sales order first of all we have to install the sales application here you can see I have already installed the sales applications uh, this is the sales module if you didn't install it before you can go to the apps and install this module sales okay then come to the dashboard again so here you can see the sales i will open the sales module uh, these are the already created quotations in my database uh, and here you can see the several menus like orders to invoice products reporting configurations related to the sales application uh, as we are going to create a quotation here uh, we can start by creating a new customer and also a new product that we are going to sell so first i will create a new customer by going to orders menu under that you can see the customers menu and here these are the already created customers i will create a new customer by clicking new and i will enter the customer name so now i have created a new customer you can see it's very simple to create a new customer then we can go to create a new product here we have the menu in sales application itself called the products so i will open products and these are the already created products and i will create a new product here we can enter the product name i am entering the product name as apple and here you can see uh, two check boxes like can be sold and can be purchased uh, this can be sold should be enabled as we are going to sell this product uh, from sales module uh, also if you are going to purchase this module from vendors then you have to enable this can be purchased only then this product will be available in purchase module so this topic we can discuss later but now we can create a simple product name apple also we have to specify the product type here uh, you can see i have three types of product like consumable service and storable so we can specify the product type as storable because the product that we are creating is uh, should be tracking inventory uh, so i will select the storable product uh, then we have the invoicing policy and other details like sales price it's not mandatory to specify the sales price here because uh, we can change the sales price directly from the sales order also but anyway i am specifying the sales price here and also default customer taxes and the cost and also the product category and internal reference i am entering as um, apple one two okay so this is the internal reference also you can enter the barcode and other information related to the product then i will save okay now we have created one new customer and also one new product now let's uh, come back to the quotations again we can click new for creating a new quotation okay so this is the sales form view here you can see we have the option to select the customer and expiration date quotation date payment terms and also the option to enter the product details so i will select the customer uh, the one that we have created right now like sara so i have selected the customer that we have created and if i save now you can see it's immediately generated one quotation number uh, automatically once we are saving the quotation and here you can see the status bar like quotation quotation sent and sales order so the quotation means uh, it's in still in the draft stage if the quotation sent means uh, we can after we uh, fill the necessary details in this sales quotation we can send this quotation to customer so for that we can use the button send by email 
after this the state will be changing to quotation stint quotation send and once we confirm the quotation that will become a sales order that's how this uh, sales order workflow is happening so I will select the product uh, in the order lines I will select the product that we created so here you can see uh, the internal reference also visible also the product name then the description and we can enter the quantity like how many quantity that we are going to order and the unit unit price so here you can see the uh, unit price is automatically came from the product master but still you can change the unit price from here also the default customer tax is already applied and you can see the uh, total price three thousand dollars and the tax so the total so here the price is tax excluded price uh, so that's why the tax is showing us separate okay now we can save uh, now as I said uh, now still it's in the quotation because we didn't confirm the uh, quotation yet so we can use send by email option um, if you are going to send this quotation to customer so click on the send by email so i have to specify the email id for sarah So this is the format readily available while we are sending a quotation to the customer. Here we have the quotation number, the total amount, also the uh, quotation PDF is attached. And we can click send button. See here now the quotation is uh, quotation status is changed to quotation sent. Uh, this step is not a mandatory one you can directly click confirm if you want to confirm the sales order immediately just I show this for this demo purpose now we can uh, confirm the sales order so I will click confirm now you can see now the sales order is confirmed so this is how we are creating a sales order in Odoo uh, but still there are uh, like related uh, things like creating invoice from sales order also how to validate uh, delivery related to the sales order everything so those details we will be um, explaining in the coming videos so that's all for this today see you in the next video thank you bye